Okay, folks, here we go. 1.1, Introduction to Calculus. What we're looking at here is examples of being able to simplify uh, expressions with radicals so that in order for us to be able to simplify questions that involve um, canceling certain values, we're able to find the answer to questions. So just looking at this first one, I want, we're going to simplify these radical expressions here. Looking at the first one, part A, if you look at that question, you're going to say root A times root A. Automatically, all of you should be saying that it, the answer to that is A. But why is it A? Well, root A times root A is the same as root A squared. Root A squared gives you a value. Root A squared gives you a value. That root here with that square, they cancel each other out. So that's why you get the answer of just A. Let's look at the next question. So we have uh, root A plus B times root A minus root B. So this should look like a difference of squares to you. If I expand this out, I would get A, so root A times A, that's if we use FOIL to expand it out, root A times root A is A, root A times minus root B is minus root AB. Then the next one's going to be plus root AB. That's these two multiplied. That's the insides. And then finally, the last two get multiplied, and you get minus B. Now, what happens here is this minus root AB plus root AB, those two cancel each other out. They actually end up getting zero. So you're left with an answer of A minus B. So you'll notice that if you have a product of two roots and it looks like a difference of squares, the result ends up having no roots. If you have root times a root, a root times itself, the answer is just the number inside the root sign. And that's what, and so if you have a question like root A times root A, you don't have to give me root A squared. You can automatically give me just A. And the same for B. If I have root A plus root B and root A minus root B, you won't have to expand it out like this question. You can go right from the question right to the answer A minus B. Let's go to the next one, C. 5 over 4 root 5, what you're going to do is we're going to create our magic 1, something that we can multiply this whole expression by, which would be 1, essentially the number 1, but it's a special one, and that magic one will help us get rid of the root on the bottom. And that answer is root 5 over root 5. If you notice, it's a magic 1. Root 5 over root 5 is just 1. But when I multiply it across sideways, what that will give me is, on the top, you will simplify to just root 5 on top. And on the bottom, you're just going to have a 4. And the reason you're going to have just a 4 is root 5 times root 5 is just 5, but notice you have a 5 on top. So this 5 will cancel with the 5 that we get when we multiply by the roots, so that you'll end up with just root 5 over the number 4. All right, next, what would we multiply this by? Give yourself a moment to think about it, and you will find out that it should be multiplied by a magic 1. That magic 1 is going to be root 5, plus root 2 over root 5 plus root 2. That's our magic 1. Remember again, we always look for magic 1. That magic number 1, when we multiply sideways, will turn out the denominator to be 5 minus 2. The 5 minus 2 turns out to be 3, which will cancel with this 3, and we will end up having root 5 plus root 2. Cool, isn't it? All right, let's go to E. What are we going to multiply this by? Well, again, it's a difference of squares that we have to multiply by, so it's going to be 2 root 3 plus 3. And we multiply that out on the top and the bottom. Let's looking at the bottom, thinking about it, you'll have 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 3 times 3, which is 9. 12 minus 9. 12 minus 9 is 3. 
3 will cancel with 6 so that you have an answer of 2 root 3, a 2 on the outside, and 2 root 3 plus 3 on the inside. And what we will do there is expand it out to get 4, sorry, one more time, 4 root 3 plus 6. All right, for part F, we'll go on to the next page to do F. But here is A through E here. Hopefully this has helped you. Part F. Here's the original question. What are we looking at? We need to multiply by the magic 1. In our case, the magic 1 is going to be root x plus h plus root x. Again, on the top and the bottom, root x plus h plus root x. And when you expand it all out in the top, you have h times that thing that was on the top, root x plus h plus root x. And on the bottom, you're going to have x plus h minus x. So that will can the h's will cancel each other out. So this h and this h will cancel because the x minus x changes just cancels out to h. These two h's will cancel, and you'll end up with root x plus h plus root x. All right, that's all, folks, for 1.1. Have a great day. Take care.